Welcome to the Fish Tank Forums video tutorial series where saltwater and freshwater friends meet. Applying the concepts. Now that we understand a little bit about the nitrogen cycle, let's apply the concepts directly to our aquarium. First, we will need some supplies. Test kits for ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate, a source of ammonia, patience, and understanding. Cycling Step 1. Introducing Ammonia. Set up, test, and prepare your aquarium with everything you plan to have in the tank later on. As an example, check to be sure equipment works, test for leaks, add substrate and decor if any. Find a sufficient source of ammonia such as pure ammonia excluding ammonia based cleaning products, flake and or frozen fish foods, frozen and or clean seafood meant for human consumption, or fish. Remember, this is not an exhaustive list. Cycling Step 2. Maintain and Monitor. Perhaps above all else, the key, if any, to cycling is to maintain a constant presence of ammonia in our aquarium. We can achieve this through diligent use of our ammonia test kit. Testing for nitrite during these initial stages may also prove very useful. As mentioned earlier, this is the time in which patience will certainly become a virtue. Maintain, monitor, and move forward. Over time, that constant presence of ammonia will become much harder to maintain. Hopefully, this is because the ammonia is being consumed and subsequently oxidized into nitride, which will slow and eventually stop if you discontinue adding an ammonia source. At this point, testing for ammonia, nitride, and nitrate will be helpful as you try to determine how much progress is being made thus far. Step 4. A New Nitrate Factory Once again, we need to rely heavily on our test kits to determine if and when our aquarium is cycled. Simply put, the telltale signs that an aquarium is cycled are through diligent testing, you have watched ammonia levels rise and fall back to zero parts per million and continues to stay there. You have noticed a rise in nitrites and a subsequent fall to zero parts per million, which also continues to stay there. You notice that nitrate levels continue to increase over time. In conclusion, we hope this tutorial has helped you to better understand the basics of the nitrogen cycle and how it relates to our hobby. It is our strong opinion that the information you just viewed combined with additional research will greatly increase your odds of success and perhaps more importantly, your fish's chance of survival.